Hello, all my merrymakers, and welcome to another Merry Making Monday. I am Becca. If you are returning, you know what's in store. If you're new here, thanks for checking us out. Merry Making Mondays are all about tutorials. Me teaching you how to make something, usually knit or crochet related. This week, we are continuing in the tutorial slash knit along of the pattern by Yarnspiration. It is called the Brioche Cable Knit Hat with the Karen Pantone. Um, I will be linking that pattern down below in the prescription. I am not, I may have just said prescription. I meant say to say description. Prescription, description. Anyway, I lost my train of thought. I am not affiliated with Yarnspirations, but I do have permissions from them to do this tutorial as long as I give them credit and provide links as I have. So without further ado, as I put my phone on silent, um, we are going to be doing the repeats of rows three, four, five, and six this week. So grab your knitting needles and your projects and let's get started. All right, and I go through this every time, any time I go through this every time because there's always hopefully new people watching. This is not only my row counting, row counter, but my editing tool that I use so that editing is much easier. Before we begin, I'm going to go ahead and zoom in on this pattern number in case you want to search for it yourself. And then that is the actual name of the pattern. And yes, this has gotten wet a couple of times. Alright, so we are stoning the... Apparently we are stoting on row three, and apparently I have lost my beginning of row stitch marker. That's just fantastic. Um, that is not going to work for me. Let me see something. All right, I gotta go look for one. Be right back. All right, this time with more feeling. So a lot of things have been moving around um, as I go through my inventory and organize things. So probably what happened is this got jarred and I didn't put my stoppers on it. So it lost its beginning of round stitch marker. It's not the end of the world. We just put a new one on. All right. So for this, for the tutorial, uh, we knit with the um, pink for this and row three starts is a basic brioche knit row where you knit two together bring the yarn front while the yarn is in front you slip the stitch purlwise you wrap the yarn back around to create a loop so that you can knit two together for the next stitch Oh, and I almost forgot to say, I'm a continental knitter, I'm a right-handed knitter. Anyway, you will continue to do that all the way around until you reach your beginning around stitch marker. I will meet you there. Okay, who's ready for row four? <laughs> Alright, before I start my even row, because I'm following this, uh... To a T, I'm going to put a little check mark. We're almost ready to change colors again. Alright, so row four is a purl row. And for the purposes of this tutorial, the purl row is the white one. And uh, this is just your standard brioche purl row where you bring the yarn front, purl the stitch with the yarn in front. Bring the yarn around the needle to create a second stitch. Then, the next stitch, you purl to... Ooh, I hit the camera. You purl two together. 
I'm going to show you that again. Bring the yarn front, purl the stitch with the yarn in front, bring the yarn around the needle, all the way around to the front so that you're ready to purl two together. You're going to do that all around until you meet the stitch marker. I'll see you there. So row five is a knit row, and for us, we knit, we're knitting with the pink right now, and it starts with a brioche double decrease, and the brioche double cre decrease is worked as you pass the first stitch as if you're going to knit it, pass the second stitch as if you're going to knit it, then you knit the third stitch, the two together. Then you take these three loops and you pass them back over the stitch you just knit. Alright, then it says to slip one purlwise with yarn in front. You bring the yarn back to the back so you can knit again. Then it says, knit two together, uh, yarn over, knit all in the same two stitches. We've done that before, but in case you're new, it may look strange to you. Then you have yarn front, slip the stitch purlwise with the yarn in front. And then you knit two together. Bring the yarn front and slip with the yarn in front four times. So that's one, two, three. Four. I'm going to show you that repeat one more time. Starts with a brioche double decrease where you uh, slip as if to knit, slip as if to knit, knit, grab those three stitches you just slipped, pass them over the stitch that you knit. Bring the yarn front, slip with the yarn in front, then you knit two together, yarn over, knit, bring the yarn front, and slip, then you knit two together, Bring the yarn front, slip the stitch purlwise four times. One, two, three, four. And you're going to keep on doing that repeat all around until you reach the stitch marker. I will see you there. Do you need the light on in the kitchen? No, I do not. Alright. Do you need the light on in the living room? I'm recording. Yes. Okay. Bye. I love you. Alright. So, row number six is a pearl row, and the only reason it's different is because of this uh, increase. I apologize for the shadows. My husband is trying to make bunny ears. Alright, so the first stitch, you bring the yarn front, you slip the stitch purlwise like you have been, bring the yarn around the needle to create that second loop, then you purl two together. Then you come across that increase. You're still going to bring the yarn front, slip the first stitch purlwise, 
We're going to yarn around the needle to the front so that you can purl the middle stitch. Come on you, stop being splitty. And then bring the yarn front, slip the next stitch, bring the yarn around the needle to the front so that you're ready to purl two together. So seeing that group of three stitches can be confusing if you're not used to it. That's why I go through that part very slowly. I'm trying to get to that part again so that I can show you again. I'm just having my yarn around the needle as I slip, bringing it front so that I can purl two together for the rest of the, the stitches. All right, we're getting close, I can tell, because I can see the double decrease right there, which we treat just like a normal solo stitch with the yarn in front. We're slipping it purlwise. Wrapping the yarn around the needle, bringing it to the front so that we can purl two together. Bring the yarn front, slip the first stitch, yarn around the needle to create that second loop. Bring it front so that you can purl the next stitch, and then bring it front, slip this stitch purlwise. Wrap the yarn around the needle to the front so that you're ready to purl the next two stitches together. And you're going to continue to do that all the way around until you're beginning a round stitch marker. And I will meet you there. So when I come to the end of the recording for each week, I like to show you this just because it is so important. But um, when you get to your last stitch of your round, it is quite possible that whatever your contrasting color is, is just laying loosey-goosey here off your needle. Make sure you wrap it around the needle so that you're ready to purl two together at the end of your stitch, or at the end of your row. All right. All right, so that is the end of this week's tutorial. If you liked this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet to my channel, please consider doing so. Share me with your friends. And in the meantime, make what makes you merry. Ciao.